Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to discuss topic twenty nine of paper two. So here we will discuss hybridization. And it's uh, here we will discuss hybridization and its types. That is interspecific and intergeneric hybridizations. So first of all, we will see what is hybridization. It is the production of a hybrid. Production of hybrid by crossing two individual. Production of hybrid. by crossing two individuals production of hybrid by crossing two individuals of unlike genetical of unlike genetical constitution Production of hybrid by crossing two individuals of unlike genetical constitution. So this is what hybridization is. <coughs> it is important method for <coughs> sorry combining characters of different plants. Important method for combining characters of different plants. It doesn't change genetic contents of organism, but it produces new combination. It doesn't change genetic contents or genetic constitutions but produces new combination of genes doesn't change genetic con contents but produces new combination of genes now what are hybridization techniques hybridization techniques so first of all we sell uh, first of all we do selection and preparation of parents select and prepare parents selection and preparation of parents secondly we do emasculation i hope you all know emasculation what is emasculation it is removal of anthers then we do bagging so why do we, why we need bagging what happens in bagging uh, the flower is bagged flower is covered by a bag so that no uh, untoward cross pollination takes place no uncontrolled cross pollination takes place so here what it does it the cross pollination doesn't take place here because as the flower is bagged as a bag you, you we use muslin oil paper or polythene bags we we use muslin oil paper or polythene bags then number 4 we do pollination so and what type pollination we do artificial pollination here because we have already removed the anther so there is no chance of and we also did bagging so there is no chance of natural pollination so we do here artificial pollination then we do selection why do we do selection to find out desired phenotypes to find desired phenotypes let me draw part here and we all the selection is done by pedigree or bulk method i have discussed in detail the pedigree selection and bulk selection so these two are method through which selection is done and then selection is followed by field trial selection is followed by field trial field trial so this was all about hybridization and its techniques now moving on what is interspecific hybridization now we are moving on to the types of hybridization so the first type is interspecific hybridization the 
inter specific hybridization so as the name suggests inter specific that is crossing between two different species of same genus crossing between two different species of same genus two different species of same genus so this is interspecific hybridization it is also known as intrageneric hybridization intra that is of same genus interspecific means different species intragenic uh, intrageneric means of same genus that is two different species of same genus it is also known as intrageneric now what are the features or you can say characteristics of interspecific hybridization used when desirable character is not found within the species we used when desirable character is not found is not found within a species that's why we need to go to different species effective method of transferring desirable genes into cultivate it helps in transferring desirable genes desirable genes from uh, to into cultivated plants from wild rare species to cultivated plants from wild species so here we can get character of wild species it is more successful in vegetatively more successful in vegetatively propagated species like you can say sugar cane potato etc it leads to introgression that is transfer of same genus from one species to it leads to introgression i have discussed introgression in detail in the previous lecture you can see it here that is transfer of same genes it is transfer same genes from from one species to genome of another species to genome of another species so this was our inter specific hybridization <coughs> now we will move into next topic that is variable crosses or degree of sterility in inter specific hybridization now we will see variable crosses this was asked in previous year so it is important variable crosses or degree of sterility or degree of sterility in intra in inter specific hybridization so first of all we will see that is fully fertile or fully fertile or you can say no sterile so here inter specific crosses are inter specific this is inter specific crosses are fully fertile between those species that had complete chromosomal homology that have complete chromosomal homology those species which saw, saw, which ha, has complete chromosomal homology will be fully fertile because the chromosomes in these species have normal pairing at meiosis normal pairing at meiosis hence the f1 will be fully fertile now secondly partially fertile or partially sterile whatever you can see partially fertile or partially sterile so here what happens 
Here the interspecific crosses are partially fertile between those species which differ in chromosome number. Which those species which differ in chromosome number but have same chromosome in common but have same chromosome. They differ in chromosome number but have same chromosome. In such situation, F1 plants are partially sterile or partially fertile. Now third one is fully sterile. Here the cro crosses between the species does not have chromosomal homology. In fully fertile they had chromosomal homology but here they does not have chromosomal homology. No chromosomal homology. In such species, chromosome number may or may not be similar. So, lack of chromosomal homology doesn't permit pairing, no pairing at meiosis. No pairing at meiosis. Hence, the F1 are fully sterile. Although they can be made fully fertile, made fully fertile by Colkin treatment by Colkin treatment they can be made fertile, fertile but naturally they will be fully sterile. So this was the degree of sterility or variable crosses in interspecific hybridization. Now we will move into the next topic that is intergeneric hybridization. Intergeneric hybridization. Here the crosses are made between two individuals of different genera. Crosses are made between two individuals of different genera belonging to same family. Okay, so it can be also said as intra family to be, uh, different genera crosses between two individuals of different genera but same family. It produces resistant varieties as well as desirable combination of all characters. Resistant varieties produces resistant varieties as well as desirable combination. Combination of all characters. Example of intergeneric hybridization is available. You can you know about Raffino brassica that is brassica into raffinus. It is raffino raffinus brassica or raffino brassica. We also know about wheat into rice triticale wheat into rye that is triticale. So this was about intergeneric hybridization. Hope you understand it. So that is all for today. For any queries do comment. If you like it please press the like button. Do share and subscribe. That's all for today. Have a nice day. Thank you.